Hey guys, welcome back. We got GM Pokey here and we are going to be ripping another Elite Trainer box. So I don't know what number this is that we've done, but we've done quite a few of them on uh, our channel. Please give the channel a subscribe. I would super appreciate it. We're trying to build a happy community here of Pokemon rippers and collectors. Uh, on another note, real quick, try not to mention it too many times. We have an eBay channel. If you go on there, you can... And I'll put a link down in the description. Get all the items that uh, we're opening today, provided you're the first person to jump on there and do that. Now, if they're not available, if they're a hit, it's because we sent it off to PSA to get graded so that we can, uh, you know, have a little bit better product and really help you guys out uh, with taking care of that process. So, again, uh, let's get into this. Uh, I am not able to rip this thing open. So, let's see. Can we... There we go. Now, I have other videos where I actually break down all the content inside here. I'm just going to be doing this for the pack opening. So if that you were hoping to see what's in these things, uh, other than packs and cards, all you got to do is search my channel. You will find other ones that actually have that information for you. Uh, again, I'm just going to get straight to the packs because that is what I think majority of you are here to see. So again, if it's something that you're interested in, uh, feel free to uh, jump on to the channel to look at that stuff. Let's get this stuff um, out of there. Sorry about that. And then we get this back in there. And I'll watch this. Now I've got a nice little backdrop that I can lean cards up against that's not too far back for the screen. All right, thank you guys. And anything in the background you see back there, that is stuff that we have picked up for doing this opening. So again, uh, I like to drop these out of their stacks into kind of the order we're gonna lift them. And it's gonna be 10 packs, so uh, let's adjust the camera and get started. All right, there we go. We got a, just a little bit more center, a little zoomed in. Sorry, just wasn't happy with it. I'm gonna push these back a little bit. So starting it off, we have got, <laughs> it came to me bent up, man. What the heck is that? So we have Lucario um, V-Star card. I'm always looking for help. If you can tell me, centering, what do you think? PSA 10, yes or no? I'm going to say, if you look at that, the top and the bottom, that it's off. Let's check out the back. The back looks better than the front, but I feel like we are left and right okay. Top and bottom, we are not. So, again, if you have a different opinion, I always value what you think. So, please do post that. And without further ado, let's get ripping. We have 10 packs data to get through. Uh, we got to get you back to work or wherever you're supposed to be right now. If you're not supposed to be watching this, then let's let's hurry up and get through. You always have the fast forward rewind button, but then you miss all my cool banter, right? So uh, I don't know if you want to do that. One, two, three, four. And I've been calling uh, Charizards lately, right? So let's see if we can call any big hits based on the centering. I would say, who knows, man? Um, a lot of times my centerings are duds. If you haven't seen this set, it's a pretty cool looking set. Pretty nice graphics. Uh, tons of cards to collect. So if you're looking for a set where you can really spend a lot of money, a lot of time, feel free to pick them up. And we, uh, there we go. Our first uh, Hollow is going to be a rare, so that's pretty cool. Uh, Oranguro. And we got a standard uh, rare. So that's kind of a bummer, but that's okay. So if you're looking... Um, for a set to collect, I really like this one. Um, I have noticed that the packs don't have the white and black uh, cards. It's just all the same uh, code card. That means that my fear is Wayne might be going on. So if you're looking at purchasing packs, I would be a little bit careful. I haven't gone through the process to figure it out because I'm going to open them regardless. I'm not going to get the, the hitters out and then sell the rest. So to me, it's irrelevant information. And since I buy sealed boxes, I don't really care. Um, but you, as a person, I don't know if you want to buy individual packs from an untrusted source. If maybe we get to the point where we just have too much something left and we no longer are getting views on something, then maybe we'll sell off the rest of the packs. And then you know we're a safe seller because we are obviously have a community uh, of trust and we don't want to wreck that. So we would be obviously a safe source, but that's not the plan. I don't plan on selling loose packs. If that changes, uh, you'll probably hear about it in one of my videos. Uh, hit that subscribe button right now while you're watching this. Didn't take much uh, effort. It's down in the corner. And all right, we got our first trainer gallery. Super stoked about that. And what is it? All right, that that is a nice card. I actually have uh, price charting up on my uh, computer screen. So I'm going to let you just stare at that for a bit while I pull this up. And I will tell you at the point of this video what it's going for. I know that's something um, I've talked to people about and they would like to have me post it. Maybe I'll try and get 
more on top of things where I'm posting it up on the screen also. Uh, it is what GG40. Man, my eyeballs are bad. You could probably even see that better than me. Is it GG something? Uh, VSTAR GG. Um, okay. I'm so. I'm going through uh, 43. And right now, a PSA 10 is selling for 130. Now it takes a while to get it back and then ungraded, it looks like we are looking at somewhere between eight, <laughs> someone sold one for five, five and about 25 bucks. So that's a nice hit. Uh, I will take that. I, I'm not gonna use the energy guy myself, but that's pretty cool. And then we had a standard uh, rare behind. So again, um, you guys let me know if you've had any problems with buying these packs and not getting hits because someone was weighing them or whatnot. And what do you guys think? Are we PSA 10 or 9, right, uh, based on that? Or is it an 8? I don't know. Yeah, help me out, guys. Uh, does that off, top, and bottom? What is the allowable percentage? And I said uh, I've filmed quite a few videos today, so I haven't had time to do in-between stuff. Remember, we're going to get out a video at least once a week, I guarantee for months because we got a lot of videos stocked up. And then uh, after that... Um, I, because we have so many stocked up, I think I might start putting out two or three a week. But again, a beautiful card. If you wanted these cards that I pull, I will be putting them online unless they go to auction. If they go to, I'm sorry, unless they go to PSA, in which case I'll put them on as soon as they get back. And uh, I think I'm going to be putting together a video um, of uh, some of my submissions. So maybe I'll go through the cards and then you can, just like me, uh, just wait, wait, wait for them to get back. And when they get back, um, I'll do that that unboxing of that too and share that just because it's a community, right? That I want um, want to share with you guys. want to let you see what I see. Okay. Uh, I don't have this set posted yet. It is a plan. We have, it is a uncommon reverse rare and not a hit. It is just a Lux Ray. Um, I don't have this set posted on eBay as far as being able to pick up the comments. We'll just pretty much be posting the hit. Uh, I have other ones, but it is very strenuous work to post them. Uh, so maybe in the future I'll go back and get this one on there. Uh, if, if you're really missing one and you really need to get it, let me know. Reach out to me. Shoot me a comment. I can create a, a single auction for you to be able to pick it up. Or we can set up a different terms uh, through PayPal or something like that where you can pick these up. Uh, I have enough... Uh, other side businesses going on and other websites that I manage. I'm not sure I want to put together a whole website for these pull ones, but maybe if we can get the channel and the, the, the effort up and it'll make a while to maintain it, we will do it. We're coming up on, let's see, what do we got? No, that's not it. That's uh, No one likes that one. It's a trainer, energy search, and we've got a Luxio um, reverse. Now, what is behind it is the magic. Oh, man. And it is just a rare. Nothing special. Uh, I did pull. Was it? When did I pull? I pulled a reverse of this guy. Was that earlier today? Was that on this pack? I don't know. Time goes by pretty slow sometimes, pretty fast other times. Get a little caught up in it, get a little lost. So far, hits have been pretty few. I have had great uh, luck with these V-Star cards. A lot of times that'll be where my hits are. So I'm super excited when I see these in the uh, the Crown Zenith. They, they haven't let me down yet. Um, and let's see. So, and what do you guys know about um, weighing? Has anyone been weighing these packs? Have they not been weighing them? I, I would assume that Pokemon is smart enough to figure out how to uh, stop that by now. But I do, I do kind of wonder if they have been or not. Let's see what we have. Nope, not yet, not yet. I'm just putting everything in that same pile, apparently. All right, we have number 105 out of 159. And what, what is 105? Anyone know off the top of their head what 105 is? Is it, a, is it good? It's not a gallery card. This is a gallery spot. It is a Radiant. I like the Radiant cards. I've been looking at these and actually, look at that. Look at that. Every time I get a hit... The, the, the centering is off. That is crazy. Uh, when you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your deck during your turn, you may search your deck for up to two Pokemon VMAX and put them onto your bench. Uh, then you shuffle your deck, and if it uses your ability, end your turn. But these have been some... Look at that. 200. 200. Does anyone play with a Dragon deck? 
Because if you do, then you have to have like just totally random energies. And how does that work out for you? Do you have a hard time finding them or do you only really use one dragon? Uh, let me know what you're doing for that. And it's a ditto. We got a ditto rare. So let's put that down there. Um, pretty cool. Pretty nice set so far. I will take that. We'll slap in one of these to keep it safe. It is a little off center, so I think that one definitely will be available sooner to you guys. If you if you don't have that one yet, you're collecting this set and you want to try to fill it up and you need that, that one's probably going to go where you can get it. I don't think we'll be sending that one in to get graded because uh, they just laugh at me. Uh, let's see what we have. What do you think about the fact that these aren't white cards? I was really kind of annoyed. Um, with all the white cards and black cards, it just kind of wrecked opening it for me, you know, knowing what the what the thing held. Now again, we're off center, so we probably got it <laughs> just because. Uh, anytime you get something that's nice, it's going to be a little bit chopped up. Um, okay, let's see if we can remember to put that in its own right stack. Doing a little separating. That's way we push our bulk out. You don't have to get uh, stuff you don't want. I. Every time I get one of these guys, I think it's cool. I think that should have been a hollow because that would be sweet with those different colors. All right. In the gallery spot, we got a gallery card. It is number, I believe, 17 or 12. You guys, sorry, man. My vision is, is really bad even when I'm zooming in on the phone. It is a Deoxy. Look at that. Fusion Strike, Single Strike, Rapid Strike. It is a really sweet looking card. That is the Deoxys. I'm going to put that up on the screen just for a second so I can pull up um, and see where this one falls in. Um, one second. Nope, that's not the one I'm looking for. There is apparently a VMAX version of it in the set. There's a V-Star version. And um, hold on, it's, it's still just loading away. Uh, there we go. So $57 if it is... So it's actively selling for 57 37 cents. If it was to be centered, what do you guys think? Did I get a center one? Did I not? And did we get a double hit or no? We did not. That's kind of a bummer. So we still have a double hit pack yet. Now, in this in these boxes, I've had great success with pulling, you know, multiple of the gallery cards. So I'm really hoping uh, that we can keep that coming up and really tried to show you guys these are great ETBs to pick up. I know that they're they're scarce and I and I get it that I've got a bunch, but I did a lot of pre-ordering. I had to order from all over and I had to drive all over to pick up this stuff. But that being said, um, they're great boxes if you can get your hands on them. I'm going to say that, you know what, trying to drive places has been unfruitful. So I would say just get your pre-order in somewhere and let them deliver it to you and then just have to be patient. Again, a V-Star marker. Can we get a hit? on a V-Star marker. I've had okay success, like I've told you guys, especially on the crowns. Um, so let's go through and see. I have a good feeling about this pack. The V-Star marker is generally uh, produced for me. I would say maybe tell me congratulations. I've been keeping the cards in the center of the screen and not angling them like I maybe did in some of my first openings. And not a gallery card. It is one of the autograph cards. I think that's cool. I've mentioned that in the past when I saw those. I'm a fan of uh, signed stuff just because, you know, growing up uh, collecting baseball cards and stuff when they started doing the signature things. And being a kid, you know, the old goal used to be to go and find the signatures. Uh, not a bad price if I get a PSA 10. What do you guys think? Can I do it? It's selling for $42, uh, pretty much the, the price of this box. So realistically, if you're going to sell them, uh, you're definitely getting your money's worth out of these boxes. It's not hard to get a return. On them, PSA 9, can we get a 9? Nine? 9's going for $13. Uh, now, that being said, when you start to look at that, if you're doing resale, um, if it costs me 18 to get it graded and I get $13 for it, that becomes a pretty bad deal. If I'm looking to spend 18 and get 42 that's not bad. It's 24 right, profit off, off doing that. And then the cost order of the card is you divide the, the case out. But that means that I get more than the dollar eighty if I if I sell it outright. So that's kind of something we look at, and it is also not a double hitter yet. So have we gotten a double? No, we definitely haven't. Look at what's back there. But I do have uh, a pretty nice, pretty stinking nice V Star. I've got the Deoxy Gallerian card. I haven't got more, so I'm I'm hoping that in these last couple packs that we'll actually have a couple gallery cards. And you guys, again my eyes on this one, you tell me, uh, did we 
have anything up there on that hitbox that you would say is worth grading. Because remember, if it's only going to be worth 40 bucks, I don't really want to spend um, 18 and then have it come back as a 9 because I'm definitely not going to see my return. I feel like we got another gallery card. I feel like we're getting our hits now. Um, it just feels good. Uh, I've had some, some days where I hit all my hits in the beginning, and then some days we hit them all in the end. So I'm not sure how that works out. It's just I stack them that way, and, and overall it seems like it's a pretty good way. Maybe it's superstition. No, that's not it yet. Uh, maybe the next one's going to be it. There we go. There's a gallery card right there. So pretty sweet. There's our gallery card. I honestly cannot make out what that number is. I think it's, you guys probably can't before me, GG31. Anyone know what the gallery card is for number 31? And it's a Tortwig. Tortwig, um, I think it's a great card. He's a happy little turtle. Look at that guy go. He's just sitting up there on his rock. He's got the leaves and the flowers. I think the artwork is pretty phenomenal uh, for this set. I think they just keep getting better and better. Um, it's, it's not been disappointing what they've been coming out with lately. And if it's centered and it got PSA 10, it'd be a $48 is what it's currently actively selling for. 14 for a PSA 9, which doesn't make me super stoked about trying to get it graded because um, that's not going to do me much good, right? Uh, spin an 18 to make that is it's just not happening. And then recently it's been selling for up to, looks like maybe 650 is the high sell here uh, three days ago. Uh, based on the time that I filmed this. So again, uh, I'll take it. And do you think we're going to double hit finally? And we did. We got the Charizard V. Did we look at the back first? Did I jinx myself and look at the back first and call uh, a misaligned? Because I've not pulled a Charizard. And I've not pulled a Charizard from this set yet. So that makes me super stoked. This number uh, looks like 18. Um, that has actually been centered. Look at that. Even some of my original, my, I have some base set ones, and even some of those are off from way back in the day. So let's put that up on the screen so you can see it. Let's scroll through here and find my Charizard pricing. Okay. Uh, Charizard. There we go. There's the V Star, one from this set up on my screen. Let's, we got the V. Let's find the V. Rating reverse. And $55 on a PSA 10. So again, that would cover the cost of the box. Now all we need is we need someone who wants this card. Do you want this card? If I get it graded and get it back out as a PSA 10, are you excited to have it? Anyone willing to purchase some of these cards ungraded? Uh, give me a premium price so I can save the difference in the grading. Maybe $18 off 55 How does that sound? If you give me 27 you know you're still going to get it for 55 in the end anyways. Um, totally happy to, to help build, and I'm, and I'm totally okay doing that. Now, that's a gamble on your part because if it didn't come back 10, well, you know, you, so you paid for it. So uh, what do we have? We got two packs left, and I would say that the end of this has been pretty good. Um to us, right? We, we've we've gotten some major polls. Let's get. Um, and if you guys, if you're part of a uh, community that's okay sharing openings, and you see one of these videos that you are happy about and you want to share, I'm totally cool with you guys sharing videos from this channel. It is allowed. It is encouraged. Uh, it does help us grow. And remember, as I've always promised, as soon as we can get a big enough channel with uh, subscribers, I will start scheduling rippings where we give the product to you guys the subscribers and what we'll be looking for is likes comments and subscribes and those will be the people getting free stuff all you have to do is watch i will rip it i will show it to you i will pack it safe and we'll give it back to you look at that another gallery card so we started out a little bit weaker but then we're hitting really strong at the end that just makes me super stoked it's a manaphy pretty sweet it's a gg06 i think uh, let's pull up the values. I've been trying to do that for you guys. Uh, so that way, if I don't remember to go back and put the values in, $55 on a PSA 10. Did we get a PSA 10? I don't know. And the next card is a Kyogre. Kyogre Rare. Uh, let's put that down there. And I got so excited about the uh, Charizard last time. I just left the, the Tortwig. Poor little guy. Just left that guy sitting out there in the, in the cold there. It's pretty cold where I'm at. Here's the back. Guys, let me know. Can we can we submit and get what we want? Uh, what do you guys do for for your grading services? Do you guys grade? Anyone here a grader? If you have a, a good service that can get me 
uh, the same kind of return as PSA does, or the same kind of um, credibility. I'd love to use maybe someone who's supporting me. I'd like to support them. It's always better to support those who support you. Um, and that's definitely something I'm okay doing. So I do want to see what the Kyogre is going for. Uh, I just really like Kyogre. It's just one of them that uh, I think is pretty cool. I don't think it's going to be that great of a card. Uh, no, it's it's going for a dollar and sixty-five cents, but pretty cool nonetheless. We have one last pack. Is it last pack magic? We've had I think the last couple of ad hits. So maybe if you stack your cards that way when you open them, uh, that's the secret. Is it just stalls out and then doesn't? Maybe I should stack them differently so we get all the hits in the beginning. You can stop watching earlier. Um, that's how we know if we have the best card in the in the set or not. As we look at it, it is centered, so I'm going to say it's a dud. Uh, but let's find out. Uh, it never hurts to open and flip because maybe our last card of the day is going to not be a, a dud, right? I always uh, love the last pack magic. It seems to somehow always work itself out. We have got, we're getting down there. Nope, that's not it yet. That's not it yet. And it is another gallery. Holy smoke. So I think that's four gallery cards in this box. I keep telling people you need to get this this ETB because it's crazy. GG58. Who knows what GG58 is? Can anyone tell me? Uh, I'm gonna look it up. Oh, I just I just found out. Sixty three dollars is what it goes for. That is crazy. And look at that. It is the full art trainer. All right. Put one of your normal type. Pokemon or colorless, whatever way you call them, uh, that has any damage counters on it and all the attached cards into your hand. Now that is sweet, and it's it is a pretty nice looking card, right? I would say so. And I would say, you know, if if we can get a PSA 10 on this one, that again, any one of these comes back PSA 10, pays for our box, and then it's a normal rare uh, at the end. So I think at the end we came out pretty good. I think we got four gallery cards out of the ETB, and I'm gonna tell you that that's crazy. I, I would love to open more, but you know what? I do have a, I do have some businesses I need to go take care of, because uh, they're probably feeling a little neglected, so they've been sitting here doing this all day, right? Um, let's look and see what we have, and you know what? Let's let's get that one open. It's it's pretty bent. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna rip this last one open and get it put away so it doesn't um, doesn't continue to fold up more and then get its edges nicked. Uh, because it is and what do you guys think was this one centered enough was it not I, I think when we originally saw it, it said it's a little bit to the side a little top bottom heavy but um, I'm not very good at calling it I can pretty much only call it when it's a Charizard and then I know that it's gonna be horrible because you know why not why not do that to us um, there we go we'll slap that sucker in there all right let's look at what we got we got uh, let's pull all these gallery ones up to the top uh, gallery, holy smokes, gallery, promo. All right, so what do, what do we what do we pull? Okay, so we got the, the hop signature, pretty sweet. Uh, Radiant, also pretty cool. We got the V-Star gallery card. I think that one's sweet. I think the artwork that they put into these is just awesome. And we have a Tortwig. A Manaphy, pretty sweet. I use, um, not that one, but I use another one for his ability. Um, prevent all damage done to your bench Pokemons when attacked by... Po yeah, I'm, I use one where uh, there's no retreat cost, and I love that. It's it's It works out well for me. Oh, man. Uh, has any fusion strike energy attached. Uh, attack does... Wow, 80 more if you have some fusion energy. Those, those extra energy cards are pretty sweet pretty cool then look at that i yanked another charizard so i think the last like last couple openings i had were charizard so super stoked right getting some pretty cool cards and then the promo card everyone gets one of those you get the box so again you guys thanks for for watching hopefully we see you again soon